Hello everyone, Kat here, and today I have a hair transformation video for you. As you can tell, my hair is freshly dyed. It probably needs one more washout to match the extensions that I'm about to put into my hair, but for the most part, they finally match and they look great. And as you know, I've had this short haircut for a while now, but I used to always have short hime bangs in the front, the side bangs, and um, long pigtails in the back. And I used to, that was like my go-to hairstyle that I wore pretty much every day. But ever since I chopped my hair off, I have been really liking having short hair and I really don't want to go back to having long hair all the time, but I still want to be able to do my classic pigtail look because I really loved it and I'm not really a super fan of short pigtails on me. I think that I look like I'm like five years old or something. Uh, I really like them. I mean, they're still cute and fun for different outfits, but I would prefer to have long luscious pigtails. So I have these extensions from Mini House 8888888. There's like four eights in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I've worked with them before. They've sent me extensions before and I did like just regular long extensions, but I realized that those long extensions I can never put into pigtails and I don't want to wear long hair just straight down. I never have like that and I never will like that probably. So I never wore those extensions very much. They were cute, they were really pretty, but I just didn't wear them. So I have these now and these are a new thing that's popping up in their ponytail extensions. So they're made specifically for wearing with ponytails and I got two because I wear pigtails. So yeah, they sent me these and I will have a link down to the specific ones that they sent me in the video description, so check that out so that you can get some if you really like them. But um, I'm really excited to try the ponytail extension. I was going to order some before they contacted me. I was going to order some just like a synthetic pair. These ones are not synthetic. And um, yeah, I really like them. I dyed them. This is Special Effects Virgin Rose with some um, Special Effects Deep Purple that was mixed with lots of conditioner and that's why it kind of has this lavender look to it. And then the top is the Age um, Beautiful Zotos uh, one that I mixed the 4V and 5RR. I'm pretty sure to do Raspberry Punch, which I did a video on that like a while back. So if you just like scroll back, it's like the last hair video was about me doing this color. So I put this color at the roots so it would match my roots because I'm still kind of keeping that root color, which right now it's like really dark only because I haven't washed it out as much as I washed out my extensions. It just happens the first day, but after like two washes, it should match this perfectly. For now, it looks pretty good though, I think. It's a pretty decent match. And then um, for this, it's the, again, Age, the Zotos Age Beautiful in that color combo that I did for my roots to just re-catch up on them because they were about this bad since my last dyeing. And then I just put the Virgin Rose on the ends that were lighter and this is what happens on my hair versus this hair was like a platinum blonde and this was just kind of like a muted, like really faded out reddish color. Let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is you're supposed to slide it down into this area of your hair and then take this and take that and wrap it around so that the grippy part of the Velcro touches. It's kind of pulling my pigtail out. I don't know if there's a way I can secure my pigtail better, but you're gonna wrap this around and you can wrap it around a second time if you want, or just pin it back. And then take a bobby pin. Let me grab one real quick. Oh. Yeah, see, it's a little heavy, so my hair does get pulled down quite a bit. But that is a pigtail. And if you do it higher on your head, obviously it's going to sit out more. You could probably even put, like, I used to do this in the past because there is, like, see the kind of, like, lefting area for where it's kind of like a wig that part is what's pulling it down in kind of the shape if you want it to be more like this you can stick some like hair sticks in there like right through the ponytail with that have like kind of an end and it'll make it stick up like this so I'm thinking about trying that because I don't like how droopy it is it's kind of pulling my hair a bit I can't even find my my actual hair in this mess know if that's holding as well but now I have pigtails I just want them to stick out more anime style 
higher on my head. If I do pigtails currently higher on my head though, I have a bunch of hair that comes down in the back because my hair is so short. So I have like this right now, but it's even worse if I do higher than this currently. So I'm gonna try that, but this is for now. What do you think? Oh, see, this is falling out. What the hell? Wonder if teasing it would help too. My hair is very slick, so I've always had problems with um, stuff staying in it or just like my hair just wanting to fall straight down. But I'm gonna try clipping it in from a higher angle. Okay, so that looks like a bajillion times better already. I think that I just don't like lower pigtails. That looks good. That sits out a lot better. See how much it sits out? So one is probably a lot farther back than the other one. I feel like, like this one might be farther back. But the root matching is pretty good. It still looks like it's coming from my head. And then in the back, it's probably a hot mess because I have all this. But you can curl this with a straightener. You can give yourself little like spirals in the back. Like cute little like Sailor Moon kind of spirals. If you look at the back of her hair, she has like little spirals. If you don't like the way this looks in the front here, I use scrunchies to cover it up and they help with keeping them in like a shape away from your head as well. To put cute like big scrunchies, it's really adorable. I just cannot find my scrunchies for the life of me right now. Or you can clip cute things like this in your hair and it covers up the front part of it and so you have cute little clips and it's super, super anime style to do that. I love doing things like that. And then also like braiding, putting cute little braids inside this or having straight ones. I did curled ones. I like to have all the curls go together. So when I curl it, I make sure to curl it all in the same direction so that I end up with a kind of a drill. Right now these ones are not all in the same direction so I don't have a drill, but I would like a drill. I like to have it like big and fluffy on the top and then cute little drills at the bottom. So I definitely think these ones work much better than the other method that I used to try with extensions and with the higher style pigtails it definitely looks better at least with my style. I think if your style is different and you like lower style pigtails that's cool but I really like high pigtails so I think that's what was my problem. I am going to try to pull them a little bit more to the front because I like my pigtails hanging more in the front as opposed to more in the back like this. So this is what they look like just hanging in the back to the front but if you can see I have like all this space here and I try to make the ponytail as close to the front but with my short hair it is a lot harder to do that without having a bunch of fallout in the back like what I have right now and a good way another good way to get rid of fallout if you have shorter hair is to do the French braid method which I will insert a picture here Basically, you just French braid all of your hair up into a bun slash pigtail, whatever you want at the top. And with short hair, it works a lot better because it holds it all in because you pull a little bit of hair at a time. So it's holding in your like shorter pieces of hair as you're adding in longer and higher pieces on your head. And it works a lot better with short hair as keeping the little like fallout in the back contained to a braid. And it looks really cute and you can lace it up and make it really, really, really cute looking like this. But I suck at braiding, so I have to have Dean do it for me if I want to do it. And he's not here to braid my hair for me at the current moment. And also, I didn't really feel like braiding my hair. If you have any questions or advice about wearing extensions and having cute long pigtails when you normally have short hair, definitely leave those in the video comment section down below. And share your wealth of knowledge or ask questions and the commenters and me will share our wealth of knowledge with you as far as extensions go and let you know how it is. I really like these, let me know if you did like them as well, and thumbs up. If you were interested in ordering your own pair, be sure to use the link down below. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Stay weird, bye.